Hey guys, this is Lauren again. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over why I hate side-by-side -side refrigerators. So today we're going to be looking at a 25 cubic foot side-by-side -side and a 25 cubic foot French door. And we're going to go over exactly why I think the French door is better. So first off, um, you're going to gain, actually, um, you're going to have less space in your refrigerator in uh, your side-by-side -side versus your French door. So in your French door, you're actually going to gain a, a couple extra cubic feet. All right, guys, I have a, a 26 cubic foot refrigerator here, very similar in size. Um, these are actually identically 36 inches wide and the same height. Uh, actually, the same depth, too, because these are exactly the same platform. Uh, so this is a French door. This is a Whirlpool French door. Uh, roughly, these are both entry-level refrigerators that I'm showing you, just to kind of be fair. Um, so in the fridge, if I open this up, we're going to notice a lot more cubic feet in your refrigerator. Uh, second thing I don't like about your side-by-sides is your freezer. So in this, this is going to take up, the ice makers in your side-by-sides are going to take up a lot more space, uh, which is kind of a hassle for a lot of people. Um, Alright guys, I'm moving into the ice maker. So on this model, it's actually tucked in the door. So if we pan back to the last refrigerator, we noticed that we had in your freezer section, you lost a lot of cubic feet in your uh, freezer. Um, pro of that is you do have some more uh, ice making capacity, a little bit more storage, uh, but if you are more about uh, space to store uh, food, this is actually a better setup just because the ice maker is tucked away right here. This one also, you could dump this ice, put it in your freezer if you have people over, uh, just to make sure you have enough ice. And then moving on to the third thing that I do not like, uh, that is in a side-by-side, -side, you have to actually bend over to get to each side the fridge and the freezer in a french door refrigerator you only have to get uh, bend over for the freezer portion so that makes things a little bit harder um, to bend over especially if you're elderly or if you have back problems anything like that and now the second thing guys in your side by side you had to bend over to get to both the fridge and the freezer in this one you do have to bend over but only for the freezer and it actually also has this pull out drawer to kind of help uh, for the things you go to often and your ice if you have extra ice you can store it right here um, Now for those other items for me frozen peas. I never eat them all the way at the bottom The last thing I don't like about side-by-sides is organization Imagine like a pizza box frozen pizza if you have to put it in sideways you can't fit it in a side-by-side -side at all um, Another thing is for other items um, you have to stack things clearly in a French door refrigerator You're gonna have much more ways to organize, which definitely helps out. All right, guys, we're going to go over the organization in these. As you can see, you have a lot more room to play with in these. All these shelves are adjustable. In some side-by-sides, you do have some room for adjusting, but this you have a lot more. Um, also, you can lay platters out. With side-by-side, uh, -side, you only have so much space, you can't lay out a full platter, where this is kind of a little bit more organized. Uh, this one you do have your two crisper drawers, so produce and stuff, you have to bend all the way down for your side-by-sides. Your French drawer, you don't have to do that. Also your glide and serve drawer, most of your French drawers are actually going to have the same exact setup, so it works out. Uh, lastly, aesthetics. Um, most of your side-by-sides and your upscale houses, those are kind of in there in your, in your homes made in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now everything's kind of moved to the French door style. So we'll look and we'll put kind of a French door refrigerator that you guys can see just aesthetically how it looks better. It's kind of more modern. And lastly, guys, just the aesthetics on your French door refrigerators. This looks nicer. Um, in most of your modern homes now, you're actually going to have the side by side. Just a little bit more trendy. Uh, it's got the even split down the middle in your fridge. Uh, it's got the freezer door pull out. So just aesthetically, guys, my opinion is this one looks a lot nicer. And like I said, in homes, uh, in modern homes in the, or in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, typically you have your side by sides. In the 2000s, uh, typically most of your French door refrigerators are going to go in those, at least the uh, more upscale ones. And those are my five reasons why I hate side-by-side -side refrigerators. Feel free to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.